What is up, World Chasers? Ace here, back with another Chaos Black gameplay, and today we'll be featuring the a uh, crazy synergy of Half Thirst Gauntlet and Healing Totem, and this gear can actually counter uh, most of the masks, my dude. Um, uh, this can fully counter Jinx, Isaiah, and Knock like easily. Like you, you can't die from them. <laughs> you literally can't die from all three of them. Uh, Sunder somewhat. Um, you still need to stay away from Sunder. And for Torden, you just need, you just don't need to get uh, slammed by his hammer at least two times. If you get slammed once, you just need to run away and deal damage from afar. But most of it, uh, this can fully counter uh, Primals, but most mostly Jenks, uh, Knock, and Saya. Uh, all three of them can't deal. Shit. Oh, I mean, they can't deal damage to you. Like, deal zero. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't die from them. And also for Sunder, yeah, like I said, uh, it's because of the power and relic of Sunder. That's why it's, uh, it's, uh, you might die from them, uh, from Sunder. But, um, I think most of the time you can uh, get away from it. Uh, let's try it out as you, uh, so you can, guys can see. So, the synergy of Hafter's Gauntlet and Healing Totem. Okay. So Hafter's Gauntlet, uh, you deal reduced damage to primals. But the problem is if you get, get too low on your health, uh, yeah, there's no other way to get your health back up. That's a problem if you're going for 4 Primal Hunter. So I kind of thought, what if I just need a ability that uh, helps me sustain for longer times? Like, uh, heals me per second? I thought of Renewal, but... Um, Primalist, Primal Hunter uh, doesn't really work. I think it still works. Renewal still works with this. But I think uh, the best way is healing Totem. Because uh, you can heal per second. You can heal your allies as well. And also, uh, it gives you the uh, banner effect. The support banner. So you can heal. Uh, use your healing Totem more. And also, you can use your Miser with this to pair it up. You can deal more damage to uh, Primals on an AoE as well. Uh, we're pairing this up with the Rush because I think we need to uh, deal damage to the enemy as fast as we can be before they get the chance to uh, transform back to human because you can't reduce damage from human form. So you need to uh, reduce their health as fast as you can. If, if they transform back to human, you need to barrage them with uh, a lot of power so you won't die. And yeah, I think this is a really good synergy. A lot of AoE, a lot of burst. Uh, a lot of sustain and yeah let's try this out okay for mods first we have mercenary amplify and agile and after uh this is pretty good F uh devoted inspired and agile pretty good uh it's okay i think we can do better with the mods i'll wait for other mods for healing totem maybe some uh cooldown ability cooldown reduction or uh someone that can uh, something that can boost uh other gears of mine for my miser, I have resourceful capacity in Warforge. Uh, sadly, I sold my freaking... Uh, it was so perfect with this. I have a mod with Sadism already in my miser and I sold it by mistake. Because I, I was clearing the Ascension mods that I got. Like There were so many mods and I sold it by mistake and uh, it was so sad. But I uh, can't do anything about that. It's already sold. And yeah, I mean it's already what you call this recycled. And yeah, but for our rush, our rush we have... A potency determination as is still solid uh, mod for our rush and with this we're just going for Torden we have Guardian with spirit bomb a uh, spirit bond enmity and primal recovery for our relic we don't have one yet but yeah let's try this out on Korash so this gear will be really good uh, well if you have enemies like Isaiah, Jinx, and uh, Nock to begin with and also on mods that uh, enemies transform Two primals a lot like Slayer, uh, what else? Uh, Korush and Eventide. Also long games like Eventide. This will be really good because it's a sustain build. Okay, Red Knight yours. is here. They took a core. I think you won't be playing this on game modes like. Oh my god. It's really hard. I might die there because I don't have Sadism. Even though I have heal, exodism really helps a lot. I wish I had that, because if I get too low, I still have my sadism to help me out and heal up again. Oh, and also mods like, uh, what do you call this? What mod was that again?
Wait. Mods that uh, reduce your... Oh, what do you call that? Reduce your... Uh, primary... What do you call... What you gonna call it? Okay. Your primary what? Oh my god, I always get lost in words. And also, I get distracted on the game. Uh, reduce your primary... Uh, reload. Yeah, your reload. That's also good. Because if you can reload faster, uh, you're you're gonna deal so much damage uh, per second DPS on your um, on your rush, and also if you have like a refund every every time you roll, run and gun. I think forgot the term, forgot the name. I think that's run and gun. And also you can attack uh, left and right with your rush and your uh, miser. Oh, he almost he, he tried to snipe me. I just had to transform, I don't want to waste this. No, I'm also late. And also, Torden would be nice also in this situation because you can heal and give barrier. So that's that's good. You can heal and shield your allies. What more do you want? Oh, Rek Knight left the match. That's sad. He got annoyed maybe. <laughs> This is a problem. Cause it's a Torden. Like, oh, I think I can still counter Torden, but um, somewhat maybe it's gonna be a struggle. Not really. But most of the time, um, Torden is really powerful. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try to take this seven, eight. Nine. Need, uh, we need. Oh, okay. It's a primal. It's a primal. Let's see if we can counter Sunder. <laughs> Let's go. I can't die from Messiah. No, someone is sniping me from far. Ah, uh, that would have been so good. I can showcase you guys how powerful this loadout is. How sustained it is. But sadly, someone is sniping me from the side, so I eventually could die. Eventually died, not could die. But as you can see, I I just can't die from Isaiah. Literally a counter for Isaiah. But I think the, the only thing... A way that Isaiah can uh, get get through your uh, sustain is when uh, he uses wing sweep. But you can just run back to your oh shit. Okay, you can just run back to your um. Okay, as long as he's dead, oh, we can still spawn closer. Be careful! No. Dude, what are you doing? Freaking die! Oh, he's gonna snipe me here. Oh, I have a healing totem. <laughs> I can't die. No! Stop! Where are my allies? Purple 9, what are you doing? We have a freaking objective here. Oh my god, it's so...
This is so annoying. My only ally is not doing anything. Good thing they spawn far. No. We're definitely dead now. War is freaking. Purple. Oh my god. Y you know what he was doing? Like, when I was going for the objective, he was just here on top. Like, here. Trying to snipe the enemy. Like, look at him. So annoying. So annoying. Please, just take the freaking... <sighs> my dudes. What are you doing? Please! For the love of God, thank you. You're so annoying, dude. Who are you? I just need help. I don't have sadism. Oh my God, that was the most stressful, a uh, stressful alpha core. Okay, we just need two and an alpha core and we can win. I think we'll just take this one first because it's more riskier. Okay, okay. Here, a jinx. It's a jinx. We can counter jinx. There's too many primals here. Okay, thank you. There's another primal. I can't die. I literally can't die. So many primals. Good thing I'm... God, they're so annoying! No, I got sniped! Oh, they're all distracted. You can take this. Take this and take this. Please, please! They're all distracted. I just need two. I don't have Torden for the next one, but they don't have Primals also. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, we can win this. We can win this. Oh, we don't need that. We just need one Alpha Core and we can win. Sometimes we need to play smart. If we just... Oh, oh. No, 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 no. We can just... We can just stay here. Oh my god. Thank you, Purple Nine. Oh my god. Where I was where was I firing? What the heck is that? Freaking bots. <laughs> okay, let's go. Take this. You can win. Easy win. Easy win. Oh we can win! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> As you can see my dudes. There were three primals fighting me. I lasted so long on that fight. We have a Sunder. There was an Isaiah. There was also a Jinx. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> oh my god. I freaking love this loadout. It's so good. You just counter so many primals. Literally, three primals were fighting over me. I just keep on healing on my healing totem. I stand on it. I, the problem is the uh, <laughs> the Jinx and the freaking Isaiah keeps on pushing me away. But I just run run back to my uh, healing totem to heal back. I think I think the only way to win on that situation if they try to push you and deal damage when you're out of the healing totem. Uh, they, they still can't deal much damage there. But uh, the most possibility uh, you need, uh, most possible times you just need to stand on your healing totem. But if ever you're out. I think the way to win that is with your uh, Sadism mod and your Miser. Uh, that would be really, really good. Uh, sadly, I, we don't have that. Uh, we sold it by mistake. Uh, that's sad. But yeah, it's pretty solid. I, I freaking love this loadout. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will try this out. And yeah, I think that's it for today. See you guys in the next one and have a good one, my dudes.